Hello, I'm Valerie Lynn, your host for Oncology Podcasting News. This week's topics include some polyunsaturated fats may prevent colorectal cancer, and hormone therapy for breast cancer can cause joint pains. Research recently published in the American Journal of Epidemiology suggests that eating plenty of foods rich in omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids may reduce your risk of developing colorectal cancer. Omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid is the fatty acid found in foods such as fish and nuts. However, researchers also noted that the omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids found in refined vegetable oils has no impact on the risk of colorectal cancer. Omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids are found in such products such as margarine, baked goods, and packaged snacks. The study involved 1,455 people with colorectal cancer and 1,455 without the disease. Researchers found that cancer patients consumed lower amounts of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids than those who were cancer-free. They noted that the omega-3 fatty acids that had the strongest associations were icosapentaenoic acids and docosahexaenoic acids that are present in oily fish. People with the highest intake of omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids had 37% less risk of colorectal cancer compared with people with the lowest level. And those with the highest levels of icosapentaenoic acids and docosahexaenoic acids had 37 and 41 percent lower risk of having colorectal cancer, respectively. The study illustrates the importance of the type of fat in the prevention of colorectal cancer. One of the most effective new treatments for breast cancer is hormone therapy. Drugs such as Arimidex, Famara, and Aromacin are hormonal agents called aromatase inhibitors. They are now part of the standard treatment for postmenopausal women with estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. Researchers have documented that there is an increase in disease free survival in those women who receive aromatase inhibitors. However, researchers have also noted that many patients also complained of musculoskeletal and joint pains while taking these drugs. For example, In one trial, researchers found that musculoskeletal and joint pain occurred in over 35% of patients who were on Arimidex, while joint pain occurred in just over 29% of Nolvidex patients. Researchers therefore assessed 200 postmenopausal patients with early stage breast cancer who were receiving aromatase inhibitors as part of their adjuvant therapy after surgery. They found that 47% reported musculoskeletal and joint pains, and 44% complained of joint stiffness. Although the exact mechanism is not known, it's thought that aromatase inhibitors decrease the female hormone, estradiol, that can lead to arthritis. Researchers advised recognizing patients' risk of musculoskeletal issues while prescribing aromatase inhibitors and other estrogen-depleting treatments. For OPN News, I'm Valerie Lynn.